Hi everyone, it's Helen here and thank you so much for joining us today for the Craft Stash Homemade Christmas YouTube Hop. So today we're showing you videos throughout the day on how to make some wonderful homemade Christmas decor step by step so it's going to be really easy to make and there's also up to 40% of the product that we're using today as well and again if you are VIP which is $9.99 per year you can also get your 10% off on top of that which is absolutely excellent so this is what we're going to be making today this is a beautiful little birdhouse using the Simply Made Crafts uh, birdhouse die and this is my quick prototype but we're going to be doing a slightly more jazzed up version um, today as we make it step by step so let's jump straight in Okay, so I've die cut the main set out already. It does it all in one go. And I've used some red cardstock and that needs an A4 machine to run that through. But the easiest thing about this is that it just, it just cuts it all out in one go. Okay, so we're gonna be doing some extra detail on this. So grab yourself a scoreboard. And the great thing about this is, what I'm about to do is I'm just going to line up this point with one of the score lines and this will fit up against the top as well but I'm just going to show you what I mean let's do the first score line and then we're going to go around about a quarter of an inch across and if you make a mistake or if you like um, skip a track or it goes off funny or wonky that does not matter because it will add to the wood effect just like so and then I can just even just add in a few extras just willy-nilly and that is going to give us a lovely little wood effect see if I can pick up that up with the light there so carry on with this side this section and this section here okay so I've got all of my little lines in and now we're just going to do some inking so I'm going to grab myself some Distress Ink. I like to use either Vintage Photo or Walnut Stain. And I'm just going to ink around the places where we've put in the wood grain. This will pick up some of the edges, but we are going to go in again with a marker pen just to um, make those little lines that we've made a little bit more detail so I have here actually henna which is tier 9 in the classic spectrum noir range and then just go over with your marker pen this is actually an alcohol pen and just making your little lines Okay, so we're just going to run this through again. We do have a choice here of lots of things on the die set. If you want to mat it just to make a plain uh, birdhouse, you can do. And we have a choice here of two apertures. I'm going to go for the heart-shaped one. Okay, so I'm going to add a piece of acetate now. And the easiest way to get the shape right is to use the mat from here. I'm just going to cut around that. Okay, just double check that that is going to fit and then we're going to glue that in. So the reason I'm adding the acetate is so that we can add some treats and goodies inside. But we went a bit too high there, let's move that down. Right, try not to smoosh this around too much. We want to keep this area here clear of any glue. So leave that to dry and then we're going to fold all of the score lines up. Okay, so now we're ready to pop this together. I've folded all of the score lines and we're gonna start off with these side tabs just here. And 
Now everything that I am using today including this glue will be listed down below and I'll pop in the acetate link as well because um, I will get questions if that is not linked. Okay, so we need to glue the bottom bit first, but it's easier to close the top first. So we're just going to fold everything in here with the roof sections. Just kind of get those pointed out in the pointy corners here. And then this tab here folds into this hole. There we go. Okay, now it's going to be easy to get this closed too. Okay, just hold that in place till you're happy that it's going to stay. Now whilst that is drying, we can work on the roof section. Okay, here is the roof section and I'm going to be using some craft cardstock. And because it's a small die, I'm just going to use my, my normal Big Shot. So make two of these. Okay, so we're going to do some inking with the same inks on here as well. We're also going to be adding some nice sparkle to these roof pieces as well. But we'll be popping that on once everything has been assembled. Okay, so this full panel here will go on the left hand side. And then this one here, we have to take into account this section where it opens. So grab yourself some scissors. Now these are completely separated and they're only joined slightly on the edges. So if we just make a little snip mark there on the second one down, we shall have that. Now this top section here can be glued on the top. This one can be glued underneath and if you want to, you can trim off these little pointy bits there. And then that tucks in there and then that is glued down. So let's get those glued in place. Okay, so whilst I'm holding those down in place whilst they dry, I just want to say there is a little section here, a little ridge at the top. There's a tiny little hole there that you can go through, poke it through with a poker tool if you want to. And you can make these tiny little birdhouses as little hanging decorations. Okay, so we're on the home run now. So what we're going to do next is we're going to work on adding the straws. The uh, finishing touches is going to be this like stickles here, which is kind of like a, a glitter glue. Um, let me know in the comments if you remember stickles. Um, I, only have, I only have this one shade. Um, I'm going to be starting off with the poles here for the next bit. So I have here three straws. I've just trimmed them down to a good enough length. It's up to you how tall or short you want your um, pole to be. And I'm thinking three will be a good enough number. So little bit of glue there sorry if I did that off camera I wanted to bring it closer to my face so I don't burn my fingers there we go so I've got two stuck together pop in the last one There we go, that is going to be my pole. And then just for extra security, I have here some circles that I've cut out. Just use your nesting uh, circle dies for this. Or if you have a circle punch, that would be perfect. So I'm just gonna add that on top, like so. That's gonna give us a nice little platform then. That is going to be glued now to the bottom there. So I think this is a one inch circle, so that's just, just the right size. Add your glue there to the bottom. 
then pop that right in at the center. Now hold that in place because this needs to cool down in the right place. Okay, so whilst that is just setting and drying, I've got some green cardstock here. I'm just going to cut this to six by six. I'm going to make a quick, quick base to pop this on. If you want to make a gift box to go underneath, that would look absolutely stunning as well. So we are going to score this at one inch and I will put the dimensions for this down below as well. So everything will be down in the description box, including all of the links for the hops that we've been on so far. And by the end of the day, all of the hops will be linked there. So if you're watching the day after or this evening, then everything is going to be there. Right, so fold these over. snip into the corners now so I have here the score line it's attached to this side I'm going to completely cut that off and lose it taper in that side do the same on all the corners right let's get this glued now so I'm just going to add glue on all of my little tabs I'm going to make sure that I get my glue all the way up to that score line because that will give me a nice neat corner with nothing peeling away Okay, so I have my base there and I'm going to quickly mat it with some red card here. So this is the same red card, same distress ink. This measures three and three quarters by three and three quarters. Okay, so let's get this together. I did have another red circle here somewhere. And we're just going to glue uh, this red circle. And then whilst that is setting and drying, we can add our mat. Now you can go to town with this. You can add little decorations, little figures on here. You can add some fake snow. You can put a little picket fence around there as well. If you have any of my Halloween die sets, you can get a few picket fences from there. Just see what you have in your stash to see what you can decorate this to make yourself a little garden. Okay, this should be dry now and I'm hoping there's nothing wonky about it. It looks straight to me. We're just going to add our glue. My daughter is absolutely going to love this one. In fact, I've just robbed back Wee my glue gun from her room. See that the heat had melted, remelted the glue that was holding the straws onto the circle after it had set. So this is why I stand by and hold everything. But yeah, I'm gonna have to get her own, her own glue gun. I'm gonna buy her exactly the same one as I have there. Okay, I'm going to move that aside now, just to dry completely. And I'm also going to show you, I've made a little wreath here, a little tiny wreath that I'm going to be popping onto those straws. Um, you can get these from like uh, the pound shops and places like that. Every Everywhere that sells Christmas stuff will have a little crafty section where you can get pick up these things. This one here seems to be molting faster than my cat in the spring, so I don't think I'm going to be using that one. Maybe that's how it's making a mess that is. But I like this one. And there's loads of different variations that you can find. I bought this a few years ago and it's still going strong. So I'm hoping this is now pretty much, yes it has, it has pretty much set. And we're just going to glue this onto there. So a bit of glue here, bit of glue there. Pop that on. 
this really does match my Christmas lantern that I made a few years ago. I'll pop a picture here up of it. This will look great next to it because I still have them. And I bring them out every year. Isn't that stunning? I love that. Now time for the finishing touches. So back to my stickles here. This is this is by Ranger. It's a bit of an insult, I think, to call it a glitter glue because it's actually a really nice thing, but it is basically just a glitter glue. And I'm going to go all around the edge here. And then I'm going to add the detail here on the roof section too. Okay, so I have just found this pom-pom trim. This is going to be perfect for adding around the edging here of this box. So I've just switched my glue gun back on. Now let's get this stuck on. Okay, so I've just zoomed out the camera a little bit so that you can see this. Isn't this lovely? You can continue this going all the way around, but I just wanted to see what it looked like with that on the front first. And I really, really love it. So you can actually open this up again and you can add some treats in there. Okay, here is my goodie box of treats. I've got everything in here. I've even got a Kinder Surprise, but a lovely pack of uh, chocolate coins will go in here perfectly. You can fit the whole lot in there. Take them out of the bag and pop them in and it's just going to be perfect. Okay, so that is my make for the Craft Stash Homemade Christmas YouTube Pop. Don't forget they have 40% of the product that has been used today. And uh, if you're a VIP, you get the extra 10% off. That costs $9.99 a month. And there are loads of great deals and offers that come with that as well and early bird things. And also, if you want to get access to the deal of the day every single day, sign up for the newsletter on the website and you will be sent that every single morning. There's a new one every day and it's really really worth looking at them every single day just to see what you can get okay so thank you very much for joining me today i will leave as many links down below as possible and i'll see you again next time